Hi, and welcome to my presentation on obstructive non-communicating hydrocephalus. First, what is it? Hydrocephalus is when excess cerebral spinal fluid, or CSF, is in one or more ventricles of the brain. Um, this is why it's sometimes called water on the brain. Obstructive non-communicating hydrocephalus, which is what I'm talking about, occurs when there is a blockage that does not allow the CSF to drain. There are two different types of this hydrocephalus. Congenital, which occurs at birth, or acquired, which occurs after an injury or illness. Obstructive hydrocephalus is caused by a number of things, including meningitis, tuberculosis, post-hemorrhagic blood clots, intracranial neoplasm, stenosis or narrowing of the cerebral aqueduct, or a large lesion somewhere in the ventricular system. The ventricular system is affected by the obstructive hydrocephalus due to the damage occurring in some part of the system, such as lesions or the narrowing of the cerebral aqueduct. So symptoms include enlarged head in infants, severe headaches, cognitive changes such as problems with memory, reasoning, or concentration, difficulty walking, and vision loss in adults. Also, there's a symptom that is called downward gaze, which means that people are unable to look up when their head is facing forward. Um, people with hydrocephalus also have difficulty with balance, coordination, walking, and urinary incontinence. Hydrocephalus occurs between 1 in 500 births to 1 in 1,000 births in the United States. Um, information on incidents in adults is unavailable because it occurs secondary to illness and injury. The overall prevalence of hydrocephalus is around 0.5% in the United States. The most common medical treatment for obstructive hydrocephalus is inserting a ventriculoperitoneal shunt to reroute the, C the CSF to the abdominal cavity. Another treatment is endoscopic third ventriculostomy in which an opening in the third ventricle is made to allow CSF to flow into the brain cavity. They also sometimes use diuretics, but that's not as common. Here's some other facts are that the onset of hydrocephalus can be detected in utero via ultrasound. However, it can occur any time between the time you're born till you die. Because as I have mentioned before, it occurs secondary to illness and injury. If hydrocephalus is left untreated, um, the intracranial pressure will increase and restrict blood flow to the brain, which will eventually lead to death. Children also um, face problems with literal and figurative language comprehension. And speech orders are secondary to hydrocephalus. There is no way to prevent obstructive hydrocephalus. And that's the end of my presentation. If you have any questions, please tell me. Thank you.